Alrighty. Hello and welcome again, Vault Dwellers. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're not doing a farming video, but what we are going to be doing is showing you where at any level you can get a full set of level 15 Raider Power Armor that is not heavily picked over and how you do it. Now to start with, you can run down here with pretty much any character. You just got to be careful because there are some high level Scorch down here, well, mid-range level. Um, but what you're going to be doing is, is southwest from Charleston. If you've watched some of my other videos, you're going to recognize we're going to Camden Park. Now, the reason you need Camden Park is there is a key here that when you get the key, it'll allow you to unlock the west side of the bridge, which I'll fill in and show you. Now, in that locked door that we're about to get the key for is a set of level 15 Raider Power Armor. Now, it's not a complete set. It'll be a frame with between one and three pieces on it. However, it's not farmed very often, so you can server hop a couple of times before the game stops giving you the new armor. And basically, if you play a little bit while you're leveling a new character, or if you find a full set and then transfer it over to a new character, you can have a level 15 uh, set as soon as you hit that. So it makes a big difference, especially if you're planning on doing some type of build that uh, requires power armor or that relies heavily on power armor as your source of defense. Now, the best part about it is simply that that particular power armor is extremely powerful for anything you would have at that level. And fusion cores are not difficult to find. Like, I've seen people, when the game first dropped, people were you know, upset because they seemed hard to find and this, that, and mine them. And pretty much every fusion generator I see now still has them in there, unless somebody happens to run out when they're near one, which is rare. So you really don't have to worry too much about fusion cores, even at a low level. They, they tend to last long enough that it's not an issue. All right, so I've just been clearing those out while I've been explaining, but what we're going to do is you're going to run down this pathway. Okay. I'm going to clear the Scorched out, so we're not using up a bunch of mats that we don't need to be using from them shooting at us the whole time. Come up here. Keep clearing. Now, we're going to go out on the tracks. You can go either direction. Going that way is a much longer way, so what I tend to do is I will come over on this side, then I jump up onto the track get over the wreck onto this side. And from here, you just follow the track down and around until you get to the other set of cars. <clears throat> now, if you go do the east side of the bridge first, you'll find the key for that on the actual walkway, and I'll show you that as well when we get out that way. Um, it actually explains to you, if you read the terminal um, entries and stuff, why you're here and why you know that the key is here. I'm just saving you a little bit of a hassle. So these bodies, you're gonna go for this bag right here and West Bridge key. That's what you're gonna want. So now that I've got that key, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the other area and I'm just gonna go ahead and skip there so that you don't have to waste a bunch of time watching me run it. So I'll be right back. Welcome back Vault Dwellers. That was a short hop for you and a five minute walk for me. So basically what happened is, is I went back to Charleston Station and then just ran up the road to here. But what you're looking for is New River Gorge Bridge West. Now you can also go uh, south from Flatwoods and follow the road across and then you'll get the east side as well. We're mostly interested in the west side for this video because that's where the Raider armor I was talking about is. So when you run across the bridge it's going to unlock and then when you fast travel to here or when you server hop you're going to start up there. You're just going to run down here. Sometimes there's a Nuka-Cola Quantum right there as well. You need those for PvP or whatnot. They are a fantastic source of AP. And you're going to pop this door, which is what we got the key for. Now, as you can see, there's armor there. So, let's go take a look at what we got. Looks like there's three pieces this time. Take a look at them. And as you can see, even though I'm in my 40s, this is all level 15 power armor. So, it has a fusion core. Now, that's just the start of it. There's also lead in here. So there's some ink cans, some full, some not. Uh, there's some other miscellaneous goodies that you can farm up. Some more lead. Now, the other thing that you want to check is check this side room here. 
Because look at that, another fusion core. So like I said, fusion cores are not as rare as people once thought. So you can get one there and plus the one in there that gives you like a two hour start as long as you're not sprinting or using vats a lot, which most power armor builds really don't need to. Then you can quickly loot everything else in here and that gives you a start. Like I said, as you can see, we came with three pieces on this. With three more pieces, you've got a full set. And it doesn't really take that much hopping or that much changing between characters to get a full set. And then you can just mule it over if you've got a friend. You can do a trade for it, whatever you want to do. Now, what I'm going to be doing for this video, when you see this video air, what I'm going to be doing is, is I will have a full set of this armor. So if you don't want to farm it and you just want a set for a level 15 character to take you from the 15 to 25 level gap with power armor, go ahead and comment on the video below with how useful that you found this and any other like materials that you're specifically looking for so that we can do some research and find the optimum spots for you. And what I'll do is after a couple of weeks, I will do a random drawing and whoever gets it can get a full set of this without any farming whatsoever. So go ahead and uh, comment below, like and share the video if you got something useful out of this. And thanks for watching. See you guys again soon with another video.